Hi there! By now, you may already have heard the term, Internet of Things. IoT is the idea of connecting and controlling things by the means of the internet. I'm Joseph from 4G Systems, and in this video, we're gonna try the Wi-Fi capabilities of the Forduino by making two Forduinos communicate over a network. The Forduino is a microcontroller unit that runs the Picasso processor at Mega32 and has its own built-in ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. If you want to know more about the basics of using the ESP8266 with the Forduino, you may want to check this video. For this project, the following items are used. Two pieces of Forduino. And two pieces of micro USB cable. If you currently don't have the Forduinos, you can buy it at our website, theforduino.com. The following IDEs can be used. The Workshop 4 and the Arduino IDE. And if you currently don't have the Workshop 4, make sure to download it on our website. In this video, I'm going to use the Workshop 4 IDE. For the example code, kindly visit our website provided below. Okay, let's get started. Connect your Forduino to the PC. Make sure each of the Forduino is connected to the right COM port. Then simply click on the Compile and Load button. This will compile and load the code into your Forduino. And you will see the LCD similar to that of the YCWIG, what you see, what you get area. Now let's try and test this thing out. For this demo, I added an LED that is connected to pin 13 to show it more clearly. When pressing the button in the client, you will see that a green circle will appear in the server, as well as lighting up the LED. In the server and client Forduinos, you will see the SSID and password. Just, you just have to change both to match your routers. In the setup, you will see the codes required for setting up the inbuilt ESP8266 and the Forduino itself. The client will be set to become a station, while for the server, it will be set as a station and access point. Next is the static IP assignment. The Forduinos are then told to join the router. The server will then start the TCP server and the timeout while the client will try to connect to it. Now when a button is pressed, the client will send data to the server, while the server will process the incoming data. And that's it for the first steps in using the Forduino with Wi-Fi. Stay tuned as we create more fun stuff with the Forduino. Please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching!